And now for something completely different. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Brad and Lucy show. To the Brad and Lucy sitcom show, at least this time. We've got uh, one more episode of Black Books after this, and then we're done the series. Yeah. So we move through <clears throat> almost. Yes. It's like minus 32 here, so might as well just do videos. Yes. Because we're not going outside for any reason. If you're in Sweden or Finland, uh, somewhere like that, you understand. You probably associate with what we're saying. If you're in the UK or the States, you're going, what the heck? Oh, those states are getting uh, a pretty good blast of cold yeah, air right now. Some Arctic. areas get some pretty good weather. We love to send the U.S. our best. <laughs> <laughs> mm. it, it goes from the Arctic all the way down to Colorado. and mixes with warm air and then comes all the way up to us. That's how it works with the jet stream. So, so have fun, Colorado. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. No, okay. So this one is called uh, Travel Writer. Season, series three, well, season three, episode five. Yes. Yeah. And one more after this. So let's do it. It's the third series. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, let's do it. I already did the intro there. <laughs> Bernard, there's another one of those solicitor's letters. What are with the others? <laughs> what the hell? Maybe you should read it. The woman upstairs wants £170 a month ground rent. She doesn't need any more money. She's already got all the blue hair and toffee and pop socks a person could want. Well, there's nothing you can do. Go upstairs and tell her to stop, or we'll cut the brakes on her stairmaster. Got no time, Bernard. I'm setting up the shop for the Festival of Travel Writing. What festival? The one you said Manny could have about a week ago. I don't remember agreeing to that. Uh, you remember that night last week when you slept in a revolving door? No. Okay, remember when you ran out of tobacco so you smoked your own pubic hair? <laughs> Not especially, no. Gross. Well, it was in between those two things. <laughs> oh, I've had an idea for your event, Manny. Great. Yeah, you could get everyone who comes into the shop to vote for what they think is the most stylish city in Europe. <laughs> then, <laughs> at the end of the week, you could... <laughs> Uh. <laughs> what? Uh, Europe. You are funny, Fran. I hardly think your little jaunts to Europe count as travel. Well, pardon me. Look, this isn't a festival for tourists. We've got an explorer coming in. He's giving a talk. The, 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 the legendary, famously charming, Jason Hamilton. Let's have a look, then. Every one of these blurbs says he's charming. I was swept away on a wave of charm. I was immolated in a firewall of charm and charisma. <laughs> I almost exploded from the concentration of charm from the page. I bet you I can open this anywhere, and I'll find this fop posing on a jeep looking smug. Ha ha ha. see? Oh, God, look at him. Look at that love me smile. I know his sort of full-time approval junkie. He's brilliant. He's a, he's a giant in his field. Manny, can I be the first to say... Ooh. <laughs> You're gonna scratch his name on your pencil box. <laughs> Enough, Manny, run me through this again. Come on. Right, OK, well, basically, there's uh, the leaseholders and freeholders. There's two types of leaseholder. There's common law leaseholder, and then there's private leaseholders, which are... Sub stop! Stop saying those words! <laughs> Give me that. I'm going upstairs. I'll deal with this like I deal with everything around here. Everything! <laughs> Hanley! Hanley, come out, you bloodsucker! Hanley! Miss Hanley is dead. Huh? 
She died in the night. I don't care. I mean, how awful. <laughs> so you're the new owner. You explain this rent lease bollocks. I'm a solicitor. Miss Hanley left this flat to Mr Benson. He's in the kitchen. What did you want to query, Mr...? Black. I'll talk directly with him, thank you. I don't want any legal fidgy widginess upsetting natural justice. <laughs> Benson! 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 Where is he? Benson? Mr Benson is in the bread bin. I said no legal fidgy widginess. I want to see the oh. owner, I want to see them now, I want to sort this out, and I want to... <laughs> He likes to sleep there. What do you want to say to him? I'm not paying this. If you don't, you'll go to prison. I'm not talking to you. Fine. Well, if that's all you've got to say, I've got a meeting. Who with? A canary and canary wharf? A fox with stocks? This is mad. You can't leave an animal in here. He's just going to go insane. It's Miss Hanley's will, so it's law. Yeah? Well, you don't intimidate me, Miss uh, Purcell Harding Latouche. MSC, LLB, MLB, <laughs> Phil, MBE, Rowing Blue, Grade 2, listed. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Loose. Loose. Free as the wind. Uh, ponytail. Ponytail. Free as the wind. Oh. Expecting someone? Might be. It's that Jason thingy, isn't it? Well, he just said he might drop round to see where he was doing his talk, you know, just uh, dropping round. Well, let's have a sample Don't then. Don't touch the display! <laughs> there he is. Oh, there he is. <clears throat> Manny, isn't it? <laughs> Good Lord, it's the shop that time forgot. I thought I'd be to all the uncharted areas of the globe, but I can see I'm wrong. This is great. Oh, it's got bags of character. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jason. Uh, Hello, this is lovely Christian. to meet you. Really, I'm a great admirer of, of your your work and and, and your life. And, uh, and and hey, watch out! A crocodile! <laughs> Behind you! Look, it's not really. It's, it's an inflatable one. I I I put up there. It's just a little little one. <laughs> 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 so, so, um, where, where, where are you going on your, your next adventure? I thought maybe Borneo. <sighs> yeah, the real Borneo, not the, uh, not the jungle nonsense. Uh, I want to see the ice caves under the jungle. <laughs> right, yes, uh, i tell you where you should go, Venezuela, it's amazing. Oh. Yeah, dear old Benny. Been there, have you? Oh, yes, uh, I have, actually, yes. I, I went uh, kayaking in, in the swamps of the Baracas. Mm, we're north or south? North. Oh, very nice. North, the tourist swamps. Yeah. I went to the south. The south are the real swamps. The northern ones are uh, pretty swampy. They're nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, uh, Jason, this talk, um, uh, how do you want to do it? I've got a few ideas. Hi. How's it going there? It's too soon to tell if I like it or not. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And I won't find out if I keep being interrupted, will I? <laughs> You know, someone like you would love Mugumbi. How can you know that? I might hate it. Well, I don't think so. For one thing, they all worship a goddess remarkably like you. A sort of panther woman. <laughs> Same pale skin, thick jet hair, slumberous eyes. For a minute, I, I thought I was right back at the temple. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you might have a word with Fran. Explain to her that I'm looking after Jason and he doesn't appreciate her trying to flirt with him. Shh! <laughs> you hear that? He's up there mewing in the, in the, in the nerve center of his empire. A hike and rent here, a tax dodge there. He sticks his leg in the air, laughs his cat laugh, and then he dives back to grooming his balls. <laughs> can't hear that, surely. I've heard enough. It's all very well for you flouncing about after Captain Pants. <laughs> you don't know what I got through with this cat. I hate him! I hate all cats! Well, that's probably because you're more of a dog person. Yeah. Hey, why don't we get a dog for the shop, Bernard? I hardly think so. The one we have doesn't do much for me. Oh. We don't have a dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
what's he like then? This overgrown schoolboy. Arrogant. <laughs> Nobody's told him Britain doesn't own the world anymore, obviously. But you dare talk about Jason in that way. He's magnificent. <laughs> I see he got to you pretty quick. Hey. Jason! Hi, Jace. <laughs> Hi, just thought I'd uh, pop into my favourite book emporium. Dr. Black, I presume. <laughs> you don't look like much of an explorer to me. You look like you've been exploring luxury hotels for quite some time now. <laughs> Why don't you write about that? The Cote d'Azur, one man's struggle with a 100% Egyptian cotton sheet. <laughs> Bernard, you've got a fine shop here, and you're not afraid of saying what you feel. I'd like to shake you by the hand. <laughs> Do you want to sit down? There's my chair over there. Do you want to sit in there? Thanks. Oh, no. <sighs> like oh, okay. tea. Oh, like... Would you like some tea, Jess? Wonderful, thank you. I was going to make tea. So was I. It'll just be ready in a minute. <laughs> They're all swooning on them. Nice cups. <laughs> the biscuits. The nice biscuits. My biscuit. Jason can have my biscuit. just poured the tinkly bell of death. <laughs> <laughs> you, had, you had dust on your knees. Thank you, Fran. So, uh, all set for the talk? I am, yep. Good, good. Everything all right? Absolutely fine. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Great. There is one little thing. Yes. Don't yep. want to sound weird. It's only a very small thing. Yep. You are standing rather close. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this all right? That's a bit... No, that's fine. Yeah. Excuse me. Are you Jason Hamilton? Get away from Stop. him! Get away! Can't you see he doesn't want people crowding him? Mm. Just get out! Get out! You're barred! Go on! Oh, no. So sorry, Jason. <laughs> so sorry, Jason. Now, wanted to have a chat to you two. You know I've got this uh, trip to Borneo yes. for the next book. Yes. And it's so much more rewarding if you have... Someone to journey with, a companion, a fellow voyager. Now, Manny, I know you've travelled a lot. Don't you think Fran would be the perfect companion for the but, Borneo trip? But, 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 uh, now, Fran, I don't expect you to say yes or no straight away. Yes. <laughs> no. You, you, look, you don't want this, this, no offence, Fran, mopsy. <laughs> you, you need someone with a few miles under the belt. You need a, you need a man, or, or, or a woman, but a man. A seasoned traveller. Sort of man who's got a, a penknife and, and an emergency backup penknife. Yeah, maybe you underestimate your friend, Manny. Now, Fran, would you say that you had jungle experience, bearing in mind it could be handy on this trip? Does Corfu count? You've been to Corfu? No. Anything else? I'm a trained field doctor. And I can fix a jeep in a hurricane. And I can speak 32 African languages. Excellent. Borneo is, of course, in Asia. <laughs> yes, yes. 32 Asian languages. Splendid. That's settled then. Manny, you're doing it again. Oh. <laughs> Commercial. Right you, bye. So, let me guess. Mice. No? Wait, you've got cockroaches. Yeah, we do, actually, but don't touch them, will you? We'll upset the bat. <laughs> Look, I want... Listen. I want you to deal with this 
thing. It's a really horrible thing. I can't even really properly describe it. it, it, it <coughs> essentially, it's a cat. Well, why don't you take him to the cattery? No. <laughs> Look, I want you, you know, to... Uh... <laughs> oh, no. I want you to take care of business with this cat, oh, OK? Oh, the cat. <laughs> Can I make it any clearer than that? You could, actually. <laughs> oh, well, OK, he dies tonight. How about that? <laughs> no. I could never harm a cat. Oh, come on, you're a pest guy. You know, you kill things for a living. Not animals. Only vermin. I love animals. I'm just trying to save enough money to go to vet school. Yeah, but, you know, this is like... You know, it's one cat. It's nothing. You know, bada-bing, bada wow. <laughs> you disgust me. An innocent little creature like that. Goodbye. A grand. Oh, no. A thousand pounds. In cash. You'd be out of this stuff. You know, tomorrow you'll be giving an aardvark a skin graft. <laughs> you wouldn't even like this cat. Nobody does. He's a bully. He sprays everywhere. He's up there right now, out of his mind on nip. <laughs> Nobody needs to know. OK. Bring a bag and bleach and three tins of royal meow. <laughs> have a word with you. This is a friend, you understand? I think that Jason might want you as something more than just a travelling companion. <clears throat> if you follow me, <clears throat> if you get my meaning, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Hmm? You mean we might find ourselves in a situation where because of cramped conditions and the surrounding dangers we'd have to... <gasps> Oh, goodness. Yes. <laughs> Bunk up. <laughs> Together. You know what that means, don't you? I don't need to bring any sleeping gear. It'll be too hot to hock around two shag bags. Thanks, Manny. What? <laughs> oh, you're just doing it for kicks. It's my one chance to trek with my hero. Oh, Manny. It really does mean a lot to you, doesn't it? It's the whole point of me being born. I know. Did he pick me? <laughs> Another canopy, Jason. Thanks, girl. Can, uh, can we make a start? Oh, right. Yes, right. Okay. <clears throat> so. Okay. Um. Uh, welcome. <laughs> to black books. <laughs> and now, who, who do we have for you today? <laughs> Someone who is to travel and adventure. But while he was waiting, he got me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've got a bit of a mix-up there. Uh, that, that sort of... Uh -oh. Wait, sorry. Uh, Yes, then it was going to be a joke and, and, and an anecdote and, uh, and another joke. Um, uh, quite a good one, actually, about rice. <laughs> OK, right. Um, so, without further ado, please welcome Jason Hamilton. Thank you. Thanks. It's a, it's a pleasure to be back in London. I've just come back from an expedition to the Orinoco Basin to the only place on Earth where you'll find the bearded howler monkey. Or so I thought, until I came here and met Manny. <laughs> Poor man. Manny. <laughs> He's got a gun. He's not here. I'm going home. Wait, wait. Eric, <laughs> sit down. He's doing it. Dip. He won't come. He knows. Cats have got a sixth sense. Shut up. Here. He's a cat. He doesn't have any sense. This won't work. They'll find out. Relax. Just pop him when he comes in. I'll take care of the body. What are you going to do with it? I don't know. I'll put a knife on his back and leave him slumped over the desk in the library. Watch <laughs> the fly. <flag. laughs> 
Thanks. So, <clears throat> what about the next trip? Well, I'll be going to Fran, if you please. <laughs> Borneo. Yep, Borneo, one of the last truly great wildernesses on Earth. And we'll be attempting to... So, yeah. Um, yeah, your books read like imperialistic tracts. Um, do you really think you can anatomise a whole culture in a few pages? What's your name? Bridget. Well, Bridget, inevitably, I write from a Western perspective because that's my cultural background. That's enough questions for now. Why don't you stick around and we'll talk it over after. <laughs> I'd love to. <laughs> 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 That's great. For now, I'd like to show you all the effects of mud erosion on a primitive office block. Fran. I think she's looking at her. Like... <laughs> it never goes away, the guilt. Mice in wedding dresses appear in your dreams. <laughs> Whole families of roaches stand there in silent accusation. Would you shut up? He's going to hear us. Oh. Now, come on. I can't. Come on, he wants you to shoot him. <laughs> what am I? What have I become? This, this is where... <laughs> Manny, Ma Manny, can we, can we do something about the noise? I'll sort it out. Leave it to me, Jason. I'm dealing with it, Manny. I'll do it, Jason. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, me first, me first. Burn it. <laughs> Burn it, stop this. Jason is very annoyed. Bugger, Jason. Actually, how is he? Now you come downstairs and apologise. Right now. OK. He's not really, really mad at me, is he? <laughs> Look what you've done. Didn't even get to find him a taxi. You must have left a note for me. We're leaving tomorrow. Nobody move. Bernard, I think we should talk about this. OK, sure, we'll talk about it. Good. Right after I killed a cat. <laughs> uh, what the heck? <laughs> so, you admit you deliberately stepped in front of the bullet. <laughs> yes. And wantonly sprayed blood from your head all over the shop. <laughs> Before going to waste time writhing around on an emergency operating table. <laughs> Sign here. No wages for seven years. If it wasn't for you, that cat would be where he belongs now. In hell, being chased by giant mice. I can't believe Jason went off with that harpy. Have you read this? Sorry, Fran, you just didn't have enough experience. Never mind, I'm sure Bridget will turn out to be very oh, no, handy indeed. Yeah. I can't believe we fell for him, Manny. Charm. <laughs> well, I saw through him straight away. <laughs> I just played along with him to confuse him. <laughs> Enough tea! Who's making the tea? Make it yourself. Yeah. I'm never doing anything for anyone ever again. I'm not even thinking about Jason or what he's doing right now. Well, not only am I not thinking about him, I I've spent my whole time not thinking about him since he left. Oh, I wish I could have a cup of tea. Oh, for God. Oh. <laughs> Make it yourself. Oh. <laughs> I'll get the tea. No, I will. Right the way, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the power, you know?
What the Yeah, hell? but it's still going to charge you for lease fees. No, it's a fucking cat. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> Anyways. I, okay. I think that's kind of silly, but yeah. yeah. That was a silly episode. <clears throat> yeah. All that's, right. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, yeah, they totally fell for it. <clears throat> Ar- arrogant fucking dude, eh? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I'd be like, you know what? Suck my dick. <laughs> we kind of do that though, like as a as a culture, right? And somebody famous comes around, and it's like, oh, it's an awful. Hey, Jessica Alba. Oh, no, she doesn't come around. No, no, if she came around, I'd be like that. But... On the internet, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jessica Alba, Wonder Woman. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. Jessica Alba's all news. Wonder Woman is yeah, yeah. always news, you know, because yeah. you got everything from Linda Carter to Gal Gadot. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. So. Um, who's the new one now? I can't remember. That is the new one. No, no, I know, but who's your new one? Who is my new one? I don't know. Like, who are you obsessed with now? Uh, Wonder Woman. Oh. <laughs> There's always one. One of many, yes. Oh, well. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Yes. So we've got one more episode to do, and we're done Black Books. So Yeah, yeah. You know, we have a playlist of Black Books on YouTube. So It's one of the few series we can get on YouTube that's not blocked. You know, Father Ted, same thing. Yeah. You have to go through a little process. But anything on BBC, we can't seem to get on YouTube, so I apologize for that. What do you do, right? It is what it but is. But check out Patreon. We've got the IT crowd, Alan Partridge, Faulty Towers, you know, stuff like that too, so. Mm-hmm. You get to see some sitcom stuff as well, because we're trying to catch up on decades of. Oh, excuse me. Of <laughs> gas. <laughs> Brad has decades of gas. In All there. right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and now for something completely different. <laughs>